Hey everybody, thank you for joining us for Earth Fest 2022. My name is Shatima Abdul Malik, and I'm at home today to show you all how we can do a full body workout while using regular household items. Today we're going to be using brooms, grocery bags, laundry, laundry detergent, can items, furniture, and body weight to get a full body workout from head to toe. Come on, let's go ahead and knock it out. So I'm going to need a heavier weight, so I'm going to be using duffel bags and laundry bags. But you can also use grocery bags and canned food items. So here I'm using my laundry for shoulder exercises. What you want to do is keep a good posture while you're sitting down and go up slow and come down slow. Here's how it looks from the side. This is a great exercise. You can change the weight for what you need. Now we can do lower body. Squats are good with any type of weight, but you can do it with your body weight alone. I'm using my laundry bag to get it done. Find whatever you want around the house so you can knock out this routine. After this, we can go into lunges. It's a great way to get each leg one at a time. Do this slow and make sure you can control the weight. No leg workout is complete without working your calves. Since it's a strong muscle, I suggest using a heavier weight. I'm using my laundry bag. Now we're going to move on to your arms. Make sure you find something that's equal weight. I'm going to use shampoo bottles. Remember that the key is to be creative. There's many things around the house that you can use. It's just up to you to find them. Since we're now using a lighter weight, the expectation is you're going to do more reps, that is, more numbers of the exercise so that you can feel the burn in your muscle. If you don't feel like standing, remember you can do the same movement sitting in a chair. Just remember to keep good posture. Next up, I'm using a broom as a barbell for doing squats. The best thing about this is when you fill the grocery bags on each end up with food, you now become a balancing act which engages your core. Remember, even though the weight is light, you still want to move slow and control the weight to avoid injury. If you're feeling sore, go ahead and take some of that dog food or canned food out of your grocery bag and continue the workout. If you need heavier weight, you'll probably need to get rid of the grocery bags and get something more sturdy. For me, I'm going to use duffel bags, but you can use pillowcases just as easy. I'm doing shoulders, and also I'm going to start doing some triceps. When you're working at home, don't forget that your body weight is an excellent tool that you can use. Gravity works, and trust me, if you're doing push-ups, you'll feel it. This is also a good opportunity to work your core. You can do planks, and you can also turn this into a cardio workout, but that's up to you. Just take it at your pace and make sure you're not injuring yourself. If you want to do more, remember your socks can be used on a wood floor and you can slide around and get other exercises in as well. When you want to work your glutes or lower back, you can just find the right weight and start doing hip thrusts on your bed or on a couch. You can wrap a towel around a railing or a doorknob and use your body weight to get a great upper back and rear deltoid workout. One thing to remember is just to check the weight and check the sturdiness of whatever you're going to lean back on just to avoid injury. One good thing about living in a house is there's stairs everywhere. Currently, I'm using it to get a good stretch on my calf raises, but you can easily use it for push-ups, running up and down it for a cardio. The goal is to be creative and come up with ways to stay in your house and have a smaller carbon footprint. All right, and that's our workout. We just stayed at home, saved some gas, saved the environment, and we used regular items around the house that were perfect for a really good workout. I'm sweating, I'm feeling, I'm gonna take a shower now. Until next time, happy Earth Day.